shalom, love from love, hope from hope, and peace from our Prince of Peace. These are the days of Elijah to celebrate all things. Will Pharaoh call upon Nighthawk? And uh, because he is the originator of uh, this, and uh, it's time that this catches on. Hey, I got a ring up here too. Mine says love. Think about that. Everybody love everybody! <laughs> That's all the religion we need. If people would just love each other, all the words are meaningless. Action is always greater than words. So we need to get along in the sandbox and learn the, the truth of everybody love everybody because it's so important in these days of kingdom age rising that people need to turn their focus on what's important. Um, and that is to see this world through so that there's an inheritance for our children and our children's children. The religiosity out there is a world of people with uh, swords cutting themselves, the sword of the spirit, they're cutting themselves. And it, it's, it, it's not loving at all. And so the distortions of the gross darkness that has been over mankind is huge. And the Lord wants to remove all distortionality so that we can see really that love is divine. It's like a prayer. It's like a sound of nature and it's as pure as the morning dew and as strong as sunshine and as clear as water. And know that we are all unique expressions of divine source love uh, embodied into the material plane each and every one of us as children have had our love moving forward as a child uh, unconditionally loving everyone but what happens we become bitter and angry and unforgiving and what happens we let our love wax cold uh, so that we have a form of godliness but deny the power of love so then we end up standing in the land of the walking dead having a form of godliness but denying the power of love whom he is for those who love are born of God born again and know him because because God is love. And so to get that moving again, we must be as little ch ch children. Insofar as born again is purest bullshit uh, that people have to believe in anything. Jesus said, all sin will be forgiven, even sin against me. So if not believing in him is a sin, uh, it would be forgiven too. He said, only the sin of unforgivable sin could not be forgiven because that is letting his light him his light in us go out and then we perish uh, because uh, there is no more light for our next bodies that are made of the love of God and that light. So praise the Lord, it's time to get uh, ahead and know that only divine love alone gives keys to understanding and it has always been the only answer that anyone has ever needed to, 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 to seek because the world is like a divine play. At the beginning and at the end, we are still all the same, and there's never been any differences between Jew and Gentile or anyone. So it's time to celebrate, because these are the days when the Lord God is giving His word a uh, that prepares His way. Uh, his word of Malachi 3, one, his most passionate prayer in the Garden of Gethsemane and it, for our oneness to arise. So he's sending his message saying to all of us as it is written in Jeremiah 31, he's saying, I will be your God, you will be my people. I will write my law and my love upon your hearts. Beyond that, no one will ever need to be taught of me, says the Lord God, for all shall know me, all people, from the least to the greatest. Thus ends the mystery of God, Revelation 10, 7, because when the seven trumpets sounded first, because the first is last and the last is first, all nations immediately became the Lord's. And because God is saying, I will forgive your iniquity and never remember it, Satan had to be removed in accordance with Daniel 12, 1, because Satan has been the accuser of the brethren day and night before the Lord, yada, 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 telling us all about, uh, telling him all about our sin. But how could God uh, forgive our sin and never remember it if Satan is blah, 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 blah. So uh, again, first is last, last is first. And uh, people, you know, uh, Google, Google this. Uh, here's another example. Uh, new uh, Jerusalem, NASA. 
and you can Google images of this. These are images of the new Jerusalem on the edge of the universe. Uh, photos taken by the Hubble telescope, uh, NASA photos, and that is the Lord uh, Celestial City that is heading this way. So praise God. There's so much that people have not understood, but uh, it's time that we must stop listening to the voices that say we are too imperfect for a perfect God. That is utterly bullshit. God has faith. And he has faith in us. And he sees us not as we are, but as we will be. Because sin has never, uh, uh, sin has never uh, uh, separated us from God. All sin is forgiven. What separates us from God is unloving ways. And so praise the Lord that needs to be turned around. Uh, and uh, so we are not too filthy to be cleaned up or not too horrid to be redeemed uh, no matter what kind of lives we've led, lived each one of us are beings of love and we were born that way and if we get screwed up along the way and we're on that road to perishing letting our love die then we're like the frog in the pot uh, turn up the heat just a little bit he doesn't even know it next thing you know he's a, he's a dead duck he's a cooked goose pretty good when you get a frog becoming a duck and a goose uh, so you don't want to do that. Uh, let the let the rock, uh, you know, don't let the rock fall on you. Fall on the rock. It's uh, much better. So these are the days when we must realize that uh, all of our mistakes and our sins can never be greater than God's mercy. His mercy is all in all. And so praise the, the Lord. He is the forgiven. He is the merciful. He is all that he has been called. He is uh, arising now as our majesty and majesties on the great white cloud and uh, in the splendor of his magnificence. He's shining his beneficence and his benevolence and his charity being poured out from heaven through the floodgates, uh, uh, ocean of his adoration, seas of his very best wishes and good tidings for all of us. So know that the fire that we call loving is far too strong for human minds, uh, but it's just right for our souls. And uh, all of love's um, essence is a bridge to divine love. And uh, we start off with love that's not divine just because uh, we're human and we, we get resentful of other people and bitterness and unforgiveness. But as we start loving and we fake it till we make it, we start smiling at people. That's a start because kindness is the language that even the dumb can understand. Even the blind can see that one with the eyes of their mind. The deaf can hear it with their inner thoughts. And so praise the Lord. The Lord wants to free us uh, for all of those that haven't had a taste. They do not know what it is. So I, I invite you to taste of unforgivable love, um, uh, unconditional love, and be forgiving, wixing my merge. But praise the Lord that uh, his love is limitless and so is ours. And that truly is a source of great miracles if we will stir that up. But it is not a tedious path, that path of love. It's a path really of joy. Uh, and it's a path of singing and dancing. Joy truly, 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 verily, verily is an inside job. And so we have to keep breaking our hearts uh, again and again until they finally open. And if you want your heart to stop being broken, just open it. We can decide to do that on our own. So we can fall on the rock instead of waiting for it to fall on us. So we need to love each other as one another, and we need to cher cherish every aspect of the divine uh, that stands between us. And we need to whisper the truth that our hearts hold of love until we embrace the embodiment of each other's souls, the essence thereof in peace, friendship, and love moving forth as a mighty river. Uh, so these are the days for uh, to realize that all things that God has made, he's made it for love, whom he is. And by the same love, uh, people will be kept 
until the end never comes because it's beyond infinity and he's already been there believe me so praise the lord these are the days that the refiner's fire has come and this fire that we call loving will burn down and consume the earth christ has cast down his his uh, kingdom aged love through his everlasting gospel and he's waiting and guarding over this fire until it consumes the earth because love one heart at a time is what will save the whole planet so know that divine love as a child moving forward with uh, unconditionality for each other um, and full of forgiveness it is the, the most powerful force upon the planet it's it, it's the greatest force that has ever been because when divine love has been protected uh, and it comes to its end sovereign grace will always take its place and the Lord is sovereign so know that our egos were the we're proud proud and arrogant but in these days of Malachi 4 the proud and the arrogant are now going to be left without a root a branch or a root to hold on to because their egos are saying once everything falls into place they'll feel peace they're putting it off procrastinating but the spirit saying find your peace now and then everything will fall into place so it's it's it, it, our priorities are backwards and we need to reverse the curse by putting things in the right order because his love who is his name every knee will bow at the name of love every tongue will confess love for those who love are born of god and know god because god is love that is his name first john 4 7 capital l and he is in us and we are in him and mutual and divine love if we will just turn on that light so praise the Lord and it's time that we need to move along and so that we can get along in the sandbox. So know that divine love is constant and when we talk, uh, we are heard. And when we are weak, we are given strength. And when we are suffering, then we are comforted all by love. Love becomes our greatest pillow. And divine love is the sublime boss of the entire universe and all things are connected and uh, so these are the days for the restoration of all knowledge if anybody wants to know and so praise the Lord that uh, the Lord is making it clear and he's writing it plain on the tablets so all those who readeth it and I've been reading may run this is the vision of the kingdom age rising from Habakkuk. And you may behold my soul that's not upright. My, 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 I've been transgressed by wine, but the just will live by my faith because I am already as hell and I can never be satisfied as I embrace all people of the earth unto our risen Lord of love. And praise God that this has been foretold in several places in the word of God. And... Uh, the alcoholic of Zechariah 3 am I, the alcoholic of Genesis 49 12, one whose eyes are red and dull of wine. And my name is Daniel, and uh, that is the name of Elijah. Daniel 12 13 predicted that Daniel would again arise and embrace his destiny in the latter days. It says so, people. So I got the right name. And in closing, know that if we are to love, then we need to love something of the divine, something that is superb and beautiful, something that transcends all things, something that transcends all forms. For if, if we can grow in love, we will grow in awareness. And if we grow in awareness, we will grow in love. And if we determine it to be unconditional, so shall it be. Because love is the divine mother's arms. And then it is she whose arms are spread and every soul can fall into them. Because love is so utterly amazing, so divine. It demands all of our souls, all of our life, all of our loyalty. And I hope that your love can be stirred up so that you can receive that which is your inheritance, our inheritance. And know that our divine uh, way is set, the order of our footsteps is, is set by our righteous Lord and all things work together for good for those called according to his purposes.
So it's time to raise our hands to heaven, embrace that kind of kingdom age love. So love from love, and remember, communication is prayer. Uh, all people have a um, prayer life, whether they realize it or not, because our thoughts are many. And uh, the Lord God, He knows telepathy. He reads our minds, I guarantee you. And so do aliens, because they have a greater uh, uh, cerebral ability. They're probably using 99% of their brain, for all I know. But uh, one thing's for sure, we, we don't want to become so heavenly minded, we're no earthly good. we got to stay right here. That is where we our feet are touching upon the earth. So let's walk forward all together in love divine. It's possible, people. If we can conceive of the uh, kingdom age, it can and will be accomplished.